Today, there are 13 Slavic countries. In the past, before those countries were founded, these areas were inhabited by approximately 75 Slavic tribes. Today, we are going to take a look at the biggest regional tribes. Obotrites were a confederation of medieval Western Slavic tribes that inhabited areas of today's North Germany. For decades, they were allies of the Charles the Great. They defeated Saxons and Veleti, but were eventually defeated after the arrival of the Danes. Veleti were a group of medieval Lake tribes living just below the Obotrites. They were often referred as Wends. Other than that, we don't really know much about them since they disappeared from written records in the late 10th century. Sorbs or Surbi were early Slavic tribe in Lower Lusatia that were also part of the Wends. In the 7th century, the tribe was part of Samos Empire. The tribe was last mentioned in the late 10th century. Pomeranians. No, I'm not talking about popular dog breed Pomeranian, but Slavic tribe who lived along the shore of the Baltic Sea. Or Pomerania comes from Slavic Pomore, meaning land at the sea. Pomeranian tribe tribes formed after the 6th century, although throughout the history multiple nations such as Denmark, Saxons, Holy Roman Empire and Poland tried to incorporate their land into their realms, they've always regained their independence until the region was finally split between Poland and Germany. West Polands, derived from Old Slavic word pole meaning field or plain, were part of Lechti group. In the 9th century, the Polands united several West Slavic groups to the north of the Great Moravia. The union developed into the Kingdom of Poland, whose name, believe it or not, derives from exactly this tribe. Silesians were as well a group inhabiting territories of Lower Silesia near Sierra Mountain and Sierra River. Their name comes exactly from the area they were living in, since in Old Polish word Schlaga means humid, which refers to the climate of the area. Masovians. They were also part of Lechtic tribes and were living in the region of Mazovia. Vistulans were an early medieval West Slavic tribe inhabiting the western part of the modern Lesser Poland. In the 9th century, they created tribal state, but were soon dominated by Czechs that forced them to accept baptism. In the late 10th century, the land became controlled by the Polans and was incorporated into Poland. Czechs Czechs were a West Slavic tribe that, according to the popular myth, came with forefather Czech who settled at the Rip Mountain during the 9th and 7th centuries. The Duchy of Bohemia emerged in the late 9th century and since then Czechs have dominated the region, consequently the country Czech Republic has emerged. Moravians Moravians were a West Slavic tribe in the early Middle Ages. Although it is not exactly known, it's claimed that the tribe was formed between the 6th century to the 7th century. In the 9th century, Moravians settled mainly around the historic region of Moravia and western Slovakia, but also in parts of Lower Austria and Upper Hungary. Slovaks Slovaks were as well part of West Slavic tribes in the early Middle Ages. Western Slovakia was part of Samos Empire that was situated in present-day Moravia, Lower Austria and Slovenia in the 7th century. Carantanians Carantanians were Slavic people of the early Middle Ages and are considered to have been one of the ancestors of modern Slovenians. After the segmentation of Samos realm, Alpine Slavs established the Principality of Carantania in the year of 660. A little bit over a century later, Carantania fell under the Bavarian zone and was incorporated in the Frankish Empire. Croats Croats were one of the South Slavic tribes. Evidence about Croat settlements in the period between 7th and 8th centuries is rather scarce, since almost all the settlements in the Dinaric hinterland were abandoned or destroyed. Croat tribes are believed to have lived mainly in coastal Dalmatia and Istra. Serbs Serbs were South Slavic tribe that was formed in the early Middle Ages between the 6th and 7th century. They, as some other Slavic tribes, absorbed Paleo-Balkan peoples and established various states throughout the Middle Ages. Seven Slavic tribes the seven Slavic tribes were a union of tribes in the Danubian plain that was established around the middle of the 7th century. They took part in the formation of the first Bulgarian Empire together with the Bulgars in the 680 till 681. Since seven Slavic tribes were established, they faced attacks from the Byzantine Empire until they won a major victory over the Byzantine troops in the spring of 681. Dragoviti. Very little is known of this South Slavic tribe except that they were one of the biggest regional tribes in modern the Republic of Macedonia, southeastern Serbia and West Bulgaria. The unity. Same goes for this tribe. Due to very few formations and evidence, we can only assume they've inhabited this area between the 6th and 8th century and were one of the biggest regional tribes. 
White Croats. White Croats were a group of Slavic tribes who lived among other West and East Slavic tribes. It's not that Southern Croats weren't white, the name simply derives from the white color Eurasians used for cardinal directions. It meant Western Croats in comparison to lands where they lived before. Volhynians. Volhynians were an East Slavic tribe of the early Middle Ages that lived in the regional Volhynia that covered present-day Eastern Poland, Western Ukraine and Southern Belarus. They are one of the groups which went on to form the modern Ukrainian ethnicity. East Polans. East Polans were an East Slavic tribe between the 6th and 9th century. They inhabited both sides of the Dnieper River and the lower streams of the rivers Ross, Sula, Teteriu, Pripyat, etc. In the early Middle Ages, there were two separate Slavic tribes bearing the name of Polans, similar as before the word arrives from Old East Slavic word Poliana, which means fill. Other than the name, tribes had no other connection. Tiverci. Tiverci were a tribe of early East Slavs which lived in the lands near the Dnieper and probably the lower Danube. The Tverci were one of the tribes that formed either Moldovian and the Ukrainian ethnicities. Ulix. Ulix were a tribe of early East Slavs who between the 8th and the 10th centuries along with the Tiverians inhabited Bessarabia and the territories along the lower Dnieper, Baga River and the Black Sea shore. They've long struggled against the Kievan Rus but were eventually defeated and were last mentioned in the 970. Severians. Severians were a tribe of early East Slavs occupying the same areas as Tiverci and Ulix. The etymology of the name Siberians is uncertain and there are multiple theories about it. Some say the word comes from Slavic word Sever, meaning north, the others say it is derivation from the Sarmatian tribe Sower, meaning black, or perhaps even from Slavic word Sirota, meaning orphan. Dragovic. Dragovic were one of the tribal unions of early East Slavs. They inhabited the territories downstream of the Pripyat River and northern parts of the right bank of the Dnieper River. The name of the tribe probably derives from the old Ruthenian word Drehva, meaning swamp, which refers to the area where they lived. The Krivici was one of the tribal unions of early East Slavs between the 6th and 12th centuries. They migrated to the most Finnic areas in the upper reaches of the Volga, Dnieper and western Dvina. Many historians suggest that the name of the tribe comes from their legendary leader Kriv. His name is believed to derive from either Slavic word Krivoi, meaning crooked, or Krvi, meaning blood or blood relationship. Radimich. Radimichs were as well part of early East Slavs. Their name derives from their forefather Radim and we know they inhabited upper east parts of the Dnieper down the Sos river. In the 885 the Radimichs were conquered by Prince Oleg of Novgorod and became part of Kievan Rus. After that Radimichs were mentioned in the 907 as part of Oleg's army in his military campaign against Byzantine Empire. In 984 they tried to break away from the Kievan Rus but fell and were defeated. There is no more mentioning of the tribe since then. Ilmen Slovenians, also known the Novgorod Slavs, were northmost tribe of the early East Slavs. The name comes from the region they inhabited, the shores of the Lake Ilmen and other regions in the 8th to 10th century. The Ilmen Slavs seem to have been different from other Slavic tribes, colonizing what is now Russia. Vyatici. Vyatici were a tribe of West Slavs or East Slavs who inhabited a part of the Oka Basin. The name derives from their leader and forefather Vyatko. The Vyatici were Lechtis that used to live in areas east of the Vistula river but due to some foreign invasion moved far east between the 9th and 10th centuries. By the 11th century the Vyatici had already populated the Moscow basin and the area of today's Moscow. Now there has obviously been more Slavic tribes that I could possibly enlist in one video but due to lack of information and evidence I've included only the biggest regional Slavic tribes. If you however are interested in other Slavic tribes I've posted the links in the description listing all the other known Slavic Slavic tribes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you don't forget to click like. And as always, thank you for watching.